10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Ignition. Lift off. Stage one propulsion nominal. There goes our 76th launch with a nice clean liftoff from Launch Complex 1 for Follow My Speed. And we can see a beautiful bright glow there from the nine Rutherford engines as we make our way to space with Electron. And we are just above 5.5 kilometres in altitude and quickly climbing past 1,000 kilometres an hour. So that means soon our Stage 1 engines will throttle down just a touch for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Approaching max Q. Cleared max Q. HVB discharge nominal. And that was the call out for Max Q. So Electron is performing nominally during this first stage burn as the atmosphere thins and we continue to climb. The rocket's velocity is now approaching 2,700, sorry, 2,800 kilometers an hour now. And we're coming up on several milestones in quick succession that will carry us through to the next phase of flight. So the first event is MECO or main engine cutoff quickly followed by stage separation and then engine ignition on Electron's second stage. Now in order for Electron to carry out that separation cleanly, it has to throttle down its nine Rutherford engines that are powering the first stage, and that is Miko. Very soon after that, separation takes place and the Rutherford engine on stage two lights up to propel the second stage onward to orbit and continue the mission. So let's listen in for these call outs from Mission Control that these maneuvers have been completed. Seconds to staging. Entered burn into tech mode. Miko confirmed. that sound of separation in that engine startup. That means that's a clean pass through Miko, stage separation and second stage engine startup. And the mission is continuing nice and nominal for follow my speed. So soon we'll have fairing separation on the second stage when the fairing halves will jettison and fall away now that they're no longer needed to protect the payload. Now at our customer's request, we won't be showing that separation, but you might catch a glimpse of those fairing halves from the camera you see on your screen as they fall away. Otherwise, let's okay, listen in for the call out. Fairing jettison confirmed. There we go, we Stage heard the call, fairing normal. separation confirmed by HVB emission control. Now one. at T plus three minutes, 47 seconds into flight for follow my speed as Electron cruises past 8,000 kilometers an hour. Now the next call outs we can expect to hear from mission control will be HV battery discharge nominal and approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Now those relate to the next actions for our battery packs that are connected to the second stage Rutherford engine. Hot swap refers to the action that switches in a battery pack with full power before the batteries that are currently in use are completely drained. Now once that hot swap occurs the old packs are separated from the rocket and they fall away and again sometimes you can see them glint on camera as they go out of the frame of the camera view but otherwise we listen out for confirmation from mission control that battery hot swap has occurred. So let's bring up those audio channels again now. Stage two propulsion holding nominal.
T plus five minutes, 16 seconds now, and those tank levels are looking good as electrons continuing well past 173 kilometres above Earth at a speed of, look at that, almost 12,000 kilometres an hour. So battery hot swap will be coming up shortly. Let's listen in for that one. Guidance is nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HVB discharge holding nominal, hot swap in 30 seconds. Throttling down. Battery jettison confirmed. Hot swap successful. And there they go. That means hot swap was successful. And Electron's second stage engine now is running on those new batteries. And the speed of the second stage continues to climb. We're past 16,000 kilometres an hour now and more than 190 kilometres above Earth. Now we have another two minutes or so to go until our next events on the second stage, which will be SECO and stage separation from the kick stage that carries the mission's payload. Still a couple more minutes of engine burn time to go though, and all systems are performing nominally with Electron continuing smoothly onto orbit. All right, T plus seven minutes, 35 seconds and counting into flight. Everything is proceeding nominally for this mission. And look, if you've just joined us, we had a great start to the launch, having successfully cleared the pad at Launch Complex 1 to make our way through Max Q, main engine cutoff and stage separation to reach this point now in the mission. So operators in mission control continue to monitor vehicle systems closely as we approach SECO. About a minute to go until then. Otherwise, Electron is approaching nearly 22,000 22, kilometers an hour and we're getting close to that orbital insertion speed we need of about 28,000 kilometers an hour. So as I said, very soon we are going to see the vacuum variant of the Rutherford engine power down and shut off completely for our SECO maneuver or the second engine cutoff on the second stage. Let's listen in for that call out that we have cleared SECO and achieved kick stage separation. Seco confirmed. Nominal transfer orbit achieved. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> 